Hello and welcome back to a new video and today we're carrying on looking at the Pokemon uh, book and the different Pokemon that you can get. We carry on from Pokemon 121. So 121 is Starmie, classification mysterious Pokemon, type is water, nickname the gem of the sea. Uh, in Pokemon lore, Starmie has seven purple limbs and a gemstone in its center. Because of its species stats and possible attacks, Starmie is a popular Pokemon for trainers wanting to dominate Pokemon Go's gym battle scene. That's a Pokemon worth catching. We're on 222, Mr. Mime. And the classification is Barrier Pokemon Psychic. And the HP on this one is 43. HP on this one was 62. We have this rare Pokemon sometimes shows up in suburban areas performing its odd routine, punishing those who interrupt its performance with a powerful slap. A violent mime, terrifying. Mr. Mine happens to be uh, one of 14 Pokemon in the game capable of performing ghost type moves, making it capable of rare feats for its trainer in battle. We are on to Scyther, 123, HP 71. Mantis Pokemon, Bug, Flying type. Uh, a bipedal green insect like Pokemon Scyther predictably attacks opponents with a variety of bug type moves, which can include Fury Cutter, Bug Buzz, and X Scissor. Because Scyther doesn't have a more powerful form to evolve into, trainers can power it up without feeling guilty. So, there we are. 124 Jinx HP is only 12. It is a human shaped Pokemon with an ice physic, uh, psychic type. Uh, never seen without the red grown, never seen without the red gown that covers both its legs and feet. Jinx is uh, an almost uh, human, um, human-looking Pokemon possessing psychic abilities and a talent for dance. Jinx is also one of the few Ice-type Pokemon in Pokemon Go that trainers have spotted so far, and its possible attacks include a variety of types: Ice Fairy, Psychic, and Normal. And Electabuzz is next. Electabuzz HP is 26. It is an electric Pokemon with type electric. Uh, the lightning bolt stripe across its chest makes it clear to any observers that Electabuzz is a Pokemon that relies on electrical powers to prevail in battle and to protect itself from aggressors. As a result, almost all of this Pokemon's attacks are electric type, with the exception of Low Kick, which is a fast fighting type attack. So, a very uh, interesting Pokemon and one I liked, especially if you watched it in the original days where Magmar had a fight with Charizard. Uh, Magmar is 126. A Spitfire Pokemon, Fire Type, HP is 46. Its puckered yellow beak might make Magma look like a duck, but this bold looking Pokemon um, is, ha is a handy monster to use in certain gym battles. Its Fire Blast and Fire Punch attacks can make quick work of any grass type Pokemon, making it a valuable part of the team when assaulting a gym defended by Venusaur. 
So we've got pincer. HP is 64. And it's a stag beetle Pokemon classification type bug. Pincers, massive pincers are deployed to mangle opponents in a violent assault um, of snapping, tearing, slicing and poking. This aggressive bug type Pokemon doesn't evolve into another form, so Pokemon Go trainers should feel free to power up this frightening looking monster. Uh, Taurus, which has a HP of 39 there. And classification wild bolt Pokemon type is normal. Taurus, an intimidating bullish Pokemon with two horns and three tails, loves to work itself up into a frenzy. In Pokemon lore, it can be found in forests and charges anything that crosses its paths. path. Taurus prefers to hang out in North America meaning players there can take advantage of its powerful attacks such as Earthquake. And number 129, I think there's 151 altogether, is uh, Magikarp, which is an HP of 25, and Fish Pokemon is its classification Water Type. The most humble of all Pokemon Magikarp is no doubt a familiar, if not altogether welcome sight for anyone who logged in time to Pokemon Go. Um, the fish Pokemon's primary purpose is to evolve into a fearsome Gyarados, but until then, it remains a slightly distressed looking addition to Pokedex. So, um, yeah, this Magikarp goes to Garados, which is quite a difference. 130. And the HP goes to a whopping 119. So we've got uh, atrocious Pokemon classification water flying type. After stuffing it with 400 candies, the lowly Magikarp evolves into Garados, one of the most powerful Pokemon in the game. This sea dragon can unleash special moves such as Dragon Pulse and Hydro Pump in gym battles, making it a terrifying enemy, reliable ally, and a badge of honour for the hard-working trainer. Lapras, which has already 111 HP, is a... Transport Pokemon Water Ice type, resembling an ancient Plasiosaur, and putting some trainers in mind of the legendary Loch Ness monster, uh, Lepras is, according to Pokemon lore, a gentle giant that enjoys ferrying people across the water. Its ice type uh, attacks, which include Frost Breath and Ice Shard, make it make it a good choice when facing a dragon type Pokemon. Ditto. There is no picture for Ditto. Transform Pokemon. Normal. Something of an enigma in Pokemon lore. Ditto, Ditto can reproduce with almost any other Pokemon to create eggs for that species. Making it a valuable, uh, making it valuable in keeping endangered species alive. In the previous Pokemon games involving breeding your own monsters, Ditto's ability to be paired with any Pokemon was a useful trait that may be repeated in Pokemon Go. Should the app give trainers the opportunity to play matchmaker with their roster and a later date, we'll just have to see. We'll just have to wait. And see, here we have one of the most famous Pokemon in the game, Eevee, HP is 52, it is an evolution Pokemon and normal type, 
believed in the Pokemon universe to possess a unique generic structure that allows it to adapt perfectly to any given environment. Eevee is known um, as an evolution Pokemon because of the tiny uh, quad root can become one of three different evolved Pokemon after a few Eevee, Candies, Vaporeon, Jolteon and Flareon. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll see that I have quite a few tins of Eevee and its evolved um, type of Vaporeon, Jolteon and of course my favourite, Flareon. So Vaporeon is a bubble jet Pokemon classification and is a water type, 109 HP. Um, one of the Pokemon Eevee could choose um, to evolve into is Vaporeon, has a mermaid-like tail and gills in addition to its back legs. Although Vaporeon is not quite the powerhouse it was from the game's early days, this Pokemon is still a solid choice for any trainer hoping to control their neighbourhood gym. And then we have another evolution, which is Jolteon, Lightning Pokemon, Electric Type, 81 HP, positively crackling with electricity. Jolteon is one of the possible evolved forms of Eevee. As befits its shocking nature, Jolteon assaults opponents with a variety of electric-based attacks, including Discharge, Thunder and Thunderbolt, which are especially damaging water-type Pokemon. 136 Flareon, which only has HP of 24. Um, flame Pokemon Fire-type. When Eevee evolves, it can become Flareon, a slightly larger reddish-brown mammalian, quadruped, with fluffy tufts of yellow fur. Pokemon lore states Flare's main weapon is a sack in which it can store and heat air, making it literal fire breather, hence its attacks are all fire type, including heat wave, fire blast and flame thrower. We have a uh, Porygon, which is uh, here, and its HP is 62, classification virtual Pokemon, type normal. Maybe the most meta of all Pokemon, Porygon is made up entirely of programming code according to Pokemon lore, as opposed to the real life flesh and blood Pokemon. As a normal type Pokemon, none of its attacks are super effective in battle but the rarity and strangeness of Porygon makes it a keeper for trainers. A Manny tight, a Manny T um, is a HP 33, um, a spiral Pokemon classification type rock water a small water type and in pokemon lore water dwelling pokemon uh a manatee resembles a cute sea slug being a rock and water type pokemon a manatee's options of special moves reflect its mixed heritage ancient power and rock tomb are both rock attacks while brine in uh, while brine is a water type attack uh, Oma Star, 71 HP on that one. We have a spiral Pokemon classification type water rock. After 50 Amanity candies, um, the little Amanity becomes the beat and dangerous Oma Star. In the Pokemon world, this terrifying creature is able to use the clamp of a beak in order to hold so tight it can suck the insides right out of its prey. In Pokemon Go, it's an effective monster to keep with you. Kabuto, 23 HP, 
classification shellfish Pokemon water rock type. <laughs> a tiny Pokemon with a large brown shell covering a body that would otherwise be exposed to attacks. Kabuto is the consumate water and rock type Pokemon embodying the traits of both. Pokemon lore states Kabuto is an ancient Pokemon that was believed to be extinct for 300 million years, but Pokemon Go trainers are able to find them in the wild. <sighs> Which then we've got uh, Kabutops, HP goes to 64. Classification is shellfish Pokemon uh, rock water type. After Kabuto is able to collect 50 of its candies, it evolves into Kabutops, which has a body that resembles an exoskeleton with intimidating bladed arms, a solid rock-type Pokemon for any trainer looking to fill out his or her collection. Kabutops helps round outline up for gym battles and is effective against other types such as bug and fire type. Aerodactyl HP 56 Fossil type classification rock, rock type um, These dinosaur like Pokemon are extremely rare finds in the world of Pokemon games Fortunately for trainers in Pokemon Go Aerodactyl appears to be more uh, prevalent in the real world, or at least the world of Pokemon Go, meaning players can avail themselves of its huge muscular wings and powerful jaw in gym battles. And the ever so famous Snarlax is at 143. Uh, there he is, 156 HP. Classification Sleeping Pokemon. And that's probably the Pokemon I'd be. Um, type normal. Um, we've got Snarlax is um, a bipedal Pokemon with a large belly. Again, probably me. Two pointed teeth and claws on its hands and feet. It is also one of the best Pokemon to bring with you uh, in a gym battle or leave it at the gym as a defender. Thanks to its robust species stats, just don't expect to stumble across one in the wild anytime soon. They are extremely rare for players. Articuno, no picture. A freeze Pokemon ice flying. Um, with its majestic blue uh, plumage and enormous wingspan, Articuno is one of the most beautiful sights in the entire world of the Pokemon games. But it's also one of the it's also one that hasn't yet graced Pokemon Go screens. Hopefully Niantic doesn't hew too closely to uh, Pokemon lore and make the legendary bird Pokemon obtainable only by climbing to the peak of a mountain. Uh, but given the Pokemon's extreme power in the Game Boy games, um, it might just be worth such a trick. Page. Zapdos. I wonder if that was a double O then, but it's a DOS. Electric um, Pokemon classification type electric flying. In Pokemon Universe, Zapdos um, is one of those, one of three legendary bird Pokemon and as you might expect from such a title, both extraordinarily rare, extraordinarily rare um, and unbelievably powerful. The game's lore states that they live up in the thunderclouds and often cause storms to occur by flapping their wings. While trainers have to, um, while trainers have yet to find the bird Pokemon, whether on the ground or in the air, its power and you. Uh, utility in previous games in the Pokemon franchise indicate it will be more than worth the wait. Legendary Pokemon's primary power in other 
games is pressure which decreases Zapdos's opponent energy and makes it more difficult for their foe to attack. Uh, Moltres Flame Pokemon Fire Type Flying Pokemon Law identifies Moltres as an extremely rare fire type Pokemon that shares many traits with the uh, Phoenix of mythology. Mytholo mythology, I'll get me words out in a minute. In the real world, most importantly, the ability to heal itself via an orthodox means. Both the Phoenix and Moltres regenerate their uh, vi uh, vitality by drawing up uh, vitality by drawing upon the power of fire. In Moltres' case, diving into the magma of an active volcano, each time it flaps its massive wings. Live embers produce bright flames that trail behind it. The bird has yet to make an appearance in Pokemon Go, and players shouldn't hang around active volcanoes in their search for legendary Pokemon. It's more likely uh, Niantic will reveal the Pokemon in a, dra in a dramatic fashion. <coughs> Dratini. Dratini. HP 43, Dragon Pokemon, Dragon Type. Dratini is uh, the relatively small first stage Pokemon that eventually becomes a formidable Dragonite. These weak Pokemon may score major adorability points, but they probably won't be able to hold their own against higher level Pokemon in the gym battles, at least not until they evolve. Dragonair, 51 HP. Dragon Pokemon type dragon. The backstory of this Pokemon tells us three crystal orbs that embellish Dragonair's skin help give it such powerful abilities. Whatever the source of its energy, the Pokemon can be counted on to take on other dragon type Pokemon during gym battles. But unless you happen, uh, but unless you happen upon one in the wild, but unless you happen upon in the wild, I'm not sure if that makes sense, you'll have to amass a hundred Dratini candies to evolve it into Dragonair. I'm guessing it's supposed to say unless you stumble upon. Dragonite 84 HP. Uh, classification type is uh, Dragon Pokemon and it is a Dragon Flame type. Dratini eventually evolves into the ultimate form, Dragonite, which looks a bit like friendlier version of Charizard, but uh, its mystical abilities make it formidable against almost any Pokemon. A great addition to any trainer's collection, especially if they are gearing up for some gym battles. Dragonite is a sign that you've just made it to the top uh, et echelons in Pokemon Go universe. We've got the last two now, out of the whole book. So we've gone through a whole 151. Let's check there's no more. No, there's no more on the other side. So the last two are, are perhaps very famous from the movies Mewtwo and Mew. Mewtwo, uh, genetic Pokemon, psychic, according to Pokemon lore. Mewtwo is a unique monster created by a team of scientists rather than a creature that naturally evolved over time. By manipulating the genes of Mew, science gave birth to one of the most powerful Pokemon in existence, capable of telepathy, telekinetics and mind control. Its elaborate backstory is reflected in its stats, which are the most impressive out of all Pokemon. We know about Pokemon Go, however, no trainer has yet to find and catch a Mewtwo, although speculation abounds that it will become available via a special event. Let's hope some let's hope it happens soon and that you are one of the lucky to first of catch a Mewtwo. One five one we have Mew New uh, species Pokemon type psychic when the original red blue uh, games reached the United States. The Pokemon Mew found 
uh, itself the subject of some of the most compelling and stubborn rumours in the video game history. As sworn by legions of players and told on playgrounds across the country, the truck near the SS and could somehow be moved, revealing a Pokeball with Mew inside. While that rumour was decis decidedly false, it proves how sought after the this Pokemon can be. Although Mew, like its meaner relative Mewtwo, has yet to make an appearance, you can be certain the first trainer who finds one will shout about it from the rooftops. So there we have it, the unofficial Pokemon Go field guide becomes Master Trainer. So thank you very much for watching and listening. Please like and subscribe and feel free to comment and I hope you enjoyed this. Cheers and bye.